Good afternoon, everybody. This is V from Beyond the Q Kitchen, and I just dumped out a bucket that I had, and every time I walked by it, it smelled kind of funky. Um, it's obviously it's gone anaerobic. Um, <laughs> I don't know how that happened because there is literally um holes on the bottom and on the sides let me show you don't mind this little thing he just ripped up his little toy all over the floor i just swept and <laughs> i'm not very happy with him right now um there's holes all along the sides and there's holes on the bottom but this was one of my um buckets that had worms in it and apparently I did not realize it also had a corn cob in the very bottom um which was laying right across where the holes were in the bottom of the bucket so it was not draining properly um I want to show you like I said this has worms in it and it's also got quite a few I'm trying to find my finger those are little worm cocoons, and when I dumped the bucket, not only did I find the corn cob stuck in the bottom of it, um, but I found a lot of little baby worms on top of some really big worms. There's one in here that is literally longer than both of my hands put together long ways. It was crazy. He started out here, and he literally stretched all the way over here. I was like, was that a snake? No, it was a worm. It was a very, very long worm. So, <laughs> uh, apparently he's a very happy worm, too. Um, so, I'm going to make this into another planter box. But, what I'm going to do first is, um, I'm going to get some of my dry compost that I have out there in the cold. Um, I don't know where the nice warm weather went that we had last week. But I, it, it's very cold out here. Um, <laughs> I have got one, two, under all that's another one, three, four. Under there is another one. I'm growing an asparagus project. And I have more under there in a bin. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven containers of already processed, already mature, um, compost that I'm going to put in here because it's nice and light and fluffy. And I hope my finger wasn't on that the whole time. Um, so I'm going to do that. Hey, hey, no, get out of there. Oh my goodness. My dog, <laughs> ah, he was just trying to eat my tomato plant out of the pot. No, look at this. He has eaten this toy just in the past 48 hours. He's like ripped the entire body off. Yeah. 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 Look at him. It's cause he's got fuzz in his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Go drink some water. Wash the fuzz down. Silly boy. I just swept my floor before <laughs> I started to videotape this. And this little booger has taken this, which I've already thrown in the trash twice. He's gotten it out, and he has got, oh my goodness, stuffing all over the floor. Oh. Yeah, you better run. Oh, he looks so scared, doesn't he? Are you going to get a broom? Aren't you going to get a broom and clean this up? Is that a no? I think that's a no. Yeah, serves you right. I feel no... I feel no sympathy for you and your dry cotton mouth. Anyways. <laughs> crazy dog. Anyways, that's my daughter's companion animal. <clears throat> He's retarded. Uh, <laughs> so he apparently... No! Get away from my plants! 
I put some bone meal on the plants earlier, um, and I was just about to take them in to um, bottom water them, because it's Sunday, and that's what I do on Sundays. And these are for the horrible fungus gnats. Um, my fungus gnats simply don't like the vinegar. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try something else. This right here I did last night. I put some holes in the front, the sides, and the back. Um, and this actually has worms in it as well. But it also has, on top of the worm castings, it has the potting soil mixed with one part potting soil, one part of my compost. And, um, this is cocoa core on top. That's where I put the seeds. I put the seeds right into that cocoa core. Um, on this side you can't really tell. This side I pretty much just covered them with the cocoa core. But, these are my daughter Maggie's Autumn Blue Beauty Sunflowers. And, it's sown on 321. And then it's got a germination date. This is, of course, not germinated yet, so... That's not filled in. Um, these are my Mizuna Red Streaks Mustards, which are delightfully spicy. I love them. Um, so I'm actually, this is going to be my Cut and Come Again microgreen box. This is my Scottish Curled Kale, Curled Leaf Kale. And, of course, that was sewn last night as well. So, hopefully... This will all come up, and I will have some microgreens. Um, I do have more sunflower seeds. I just put a few in there to grow as microgreens. So, I'm watching you, little dog. So, oh my goodness. He's so crazy. This is my daughter Eloise's pumpkin. And, um, it's doing pretty good. Um... It did have the lights on it all night. I usually transfer the lights in the morning. And they get 12 hours on and 12 hours off. Um, mainly because I don't have enough lights. And <laughs> I believe that might be an okra. Um, I'm not really sure to tell you the truth. That is definitely one of my Aunt Ruby's German green tomatoes that this little booger tried to assassinate. Oh, I shouldn't say that. They might kick me off thinking I'm trying to do something bad. These are my lavenders that I did. Um, I cold stratified them for six weeks out in the freezing cold in the snow. And um, I brought them in to check on them. And the next day they had sprouted. So I went ahead and planted it. Um, what you see down there, it looks dry, yes. But these are Mediterranean plants. So they're in a mix of... My already processed light and fluffy compost. And um, one part compost, one part of the cocoa core, and one part of my potting soil. So, I am fairly certain now that this might be one of my dragon tongue beans that I thought didn't make it. Um... Because look at that. I just, that's the only thing I can figure that would climb like that. And it's got tendrils. It's beautiful, whatever it is. But it's the most bizarre thing. And I've never grown dragon tongue beans before. So, I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know what what's going on there. Um, and again, I put the bone meal down there so I can water it. This is another one of my green tomatoes. This is my little mixed lettuce boat and they are getting quite beautiful. Uh, that's another, I think it's an okra, I'm not sure. Um, these two little guys were actually in the pot that I just dumped into there and they were just sitting there. They weren't really growing. They just kind of popped up and that's as far as it went. Um, I got another, the sweet potato that never slipped, uh, planted down there, and it's got roots, so I'm just waiting for something to happen. Um, 
I believe that's my kohlrabi. I'm not sure. Um. Okay, these are the planted loofah gourds. Still no life there except for that one. Um, and another sweet potato back there. Way back there. And something else back there that I didn't realize was hiding there. So I'll have to dig him out and look at what he is. Um, here's another one of those. The first plants I germinated that Mr. Crazy over there. Actually, my sister used to have a dog they called Mr. Crazy. Um, <laughs> among a few other things they called that poor dog apparently. Um, so I'm not really sure if that's the okra. Uh, but I know that is definitely one of my green tomato plants. Because that's all I, I've i sown this year is green tomato plants. So, um, more little creatures here. These do not need to be bottom watered. They've already been watered. Um, these are my, I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Yes, those are my black magic kale. I'm going to wait till they get a little bit bigger and I've got a planter box then put one in each of the four squares. Um, these are actually my tops of my beets. That one went really um, beautiful purple. And um, I'm not really sure if it was a different one or not. Um, but the rest of these look, you know, normal. Um, there's an empty container back there. What this is right here... Yes, that's a, that's a creamer container. Um, <laughs> but it's got its bottom cut out. And that is actually how I feed my worms. So that the... Um, I make it into a slurry. And I put it down there in water and feed at the same time. But I have it covered up because I don't want it to smell funny. Um, like I said, my, <laughs> my fungus gnats really don't like the vinegar. So I'm going to have to go back to using the juice because I really like that. Ah, oh, you see that little booger down there? You see that wasp? I'm not rescuing him. He already tried to get me earlier today. So you know what they say about karma. These are my potatoes. And I think that's pretty much it for right now. Um, I do have another planter box. This is another vermicompost bin under there um and i just have these plants because i just watered them last night and i wanted them to kind of drain out here and um i just i just use my my wood burner to put some holes in some boxes to plant with so that's why that's there and i had to do it with the the window, I mean the door open, otherwise my, my, I won't be able to breathe. That's just the way it is. So, <laughs> I am going to pause this for a minute and get some of my dryer compost out and mix it in with this worm casting box over here, which is pretty much all worm castings. And that's probably why it got stuck and clogged up all the holes it had. So, I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back now. Um, I've taken pretty much two gallons of um, my dry, already processed compost from that container way over there. Um, and I put it in here and I mixed it around really well. Um, found a lot of worms, a lot of small worms, and a lot of cocoons. So, that's good. That means they're happy. And there's that thing again. I still haven't found my broom to sweep up the horrible mess he made. Isn't he the most bizarre looking thing? He wants my plants. I have to guard them. 
anyways, so <laughs> I did find a little bit of um, little seedlings in here. I don't know exactly what they are. I think they were eggplant or zucchini because that's what I put in um, that box at the in the fall. Um, so I took them out and I put them over there in that planter up top right there right under the light so hopefully they'll do good oh and while I was poking around and moving stuff I found two of my loofahs have sprouted one had a little bit of green yesterday when I put them in there but I'm going to take off their little makeshift humidity dome so you can see there's one that one's lid doesn't want to come off for some bizarre reason. Who knows? And there is another one in there. See? They are growing. It just took a really long time. So, as soon as the other ones start sprouting up, I'll take their little lids off, too. Alrighty. I don't know where that one's lid went. All right, well, that's for it, it for now. Um, oh, I see a little bit of growth in there, too. I forgot to label this last night, so I'm going to have to go through and see if I um, put on video what it is. I don't know if it's a lettuce blend or <laughs> kale or what. But there's a little bit of growth going on in there, too, so... Things are coming alive, and, um, I am going, oh, I did sow some golden ball turnips last night. Um, I just got done bottom watering them, so they're nice and moist. And hopefully they'll pop up in the next few days. I think that's it for now, though. I will bring you along on my next endeavor. I don't know what that's going to be. Um, I do have to clean up a mess. Um, some of the soil escaped. And I don't want to lose my good dark black gold over there. So I'm going to clean that up as soon as I can find where I put my broom. So y'all have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.